Did you know there's a sandwich cafe that looks like something out of a 19th century general store offering over 30 different types of sandwiches? Today on Eat Live Love San Fernando Valley, we are at the Coenga General Store in North Hollywood. Let's get to it. Anita, I'm so honored to be here. Thank you, thank you, thanks for coming. Okay, so I think when someone comes in here, just an incredible vibe. How did you come up with this place? Oh, I, you know, it was a group effort for sure. Family and friends helped a lot. Um, we, I started off with motion picture and television props, and then we kind of segued into, hey, what if we build a retail store that everybody can come in, see, and possibly do filming inside? So we started with the uh, idea of a general store, like a turn of the century general store. That's incredible. But how did you able to find all of these pieces, all the items in this store? Well, I've been here a long time, since mm -hmm. like 94, 95. Um, and it was before the internet, so it was a little difficult to find everything. So we would go to trade shows and find stuff that maybe people would want to buy. Because initially I opened up as a gift store, like a retail gift store. Um, things that people might want to buy every day, you know, gift items, but the packaging had to be right. It had to have like old fashioned packaging so it looked good on the shelves. You know? Well, I'm sure if you were to, if you had to sell them to today, <laughs> if people would be in here in a heartbeat. Yeah. Okay, so you started off as a prop store, but how were you able to transition into serving drinks and food? Well, we always had coffee. So we started off with an espresso machine making cappuccinos and then we turned our office into kind of a makeshift kitchen and we started we started like just a few sandwiches at a time just like deli sandwiches and then we kind of just got creative and invented you know things that maybe sounded good or looked good together and and that's kind of how they evolved really so you guys have over 30 different sandwiches you guys have salads and you have smoothies also we have smoothies yeah and we make from scratch all our own like um uh, toppings that go on the sandwich, like we make an olive tepanade, we make a pesto, and we make our honey mustard and stuff like that on the sandwiches to make them a little more homemade or unique that you can't get like at other just general sandwich shops. <laughs> so I'm trying the Frankenstein sandwich today. What's in that sandwich? So it's chicken and bacon with melted cheese on it. It's on a Parmesan cheese bagel, um, and it's like one of our top sellers. This all sounds awesome and delicious. Let's go back in the kitchen and see how you do it. Sounds good. Guys, this is the Frankenstein sandwich at the Coenga General Store. So on a toasted bagel, got the turkey, the bacon, onion, olives, along with the mayonnaise and lettuce. Let's try it. All of it goes so perfectly well together. So you got the toasted bagel, of course, you got the boar heads meat. And something to remember here that all of their meats and cheeses that they use in their sandwiches comes from boar heads. So you're getting high quality meats and cheeses. All right, so here at the Coenga General Store, this is a really fun place, really great. The Western General Store like vibes. This prop store turned into a sandwich cafe. Again, you can get your coffee. They got some great smoothies. I have right now the coconut and ginger smoothie that's really delicious. So many different sandwich options. And what's really nice is if you wanna come up with your own, they have all the different ingredients and meats and cheeses to be able to do that. The Coenga General Store, they are located in North Hollywood, of course, on Coenga Boulevard. They're located just north of Chandler. So make sure you come out, 
This is one of the coolest vibes you're going to be able to have a meal in here in the San Fernando Valley. The great owners, it's family owned. So come out and support these guys. If you like this episode, you already know what to do at this point. You need to like, comment, share, and so we can support these guys. And we look forward to seeing you next time on Eat, Live, Love, San Fernando Valley.